let's dive right in onto this tutorial shall we? I started by applying an eyeshadow primer and a green base. I use Milani's Safari Green Shadows Eyes pencil. This pencil is water resistant and has a pearl kind of finish to it. I kept the green on my eyelid and gently blended it with my ring finger. I didn't go any higher than the crease. Since mermaids have been known to break a few hearts, I used Sugar Pill's Heartbreaker palette and I patted Moki onto the lid on top of the green base. I really like how these two colors came together. The green Safari and Moki created that kind of perfect mermaid's tail color. In the crease, I added Velocity, which is a beautiful, gorgeous blue. Uh, blue is my favorite color, so this color is definitely one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. Um, anyway, I increased the velocity as I went, adding more as I needed. Did you see that pun there? Haha. <laughs> I amuse myself. Sometimes. Definitely take your time blending out velocity and also make sure to add more mochi if you lose any in the process. I really wanted the brow bone to pop, so I used Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Waves of White. I think this is a limited edition of color, but um, it's beautiful nonetheless. It's a gorgeous kind of cream eyeshadow, and it flashes back a light blue color. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, I used this small shader and my finger to apply this color to my brow bone. To double the duochrome factor, the duochromosity, I patted Sugar Pills Lumi on top of the waves of white. You can see those swatches on my hand. Those two colors are so beautiful. Um, oh, holy mother of duochrome pearl, that's pretty. They're just really, really beautiful together. I clean the edges of my eyes up with a makeup wipe. To mimic the scales on a mermaid's tail, scale tail, um, I added blue, green, white, and mint colored rhinestones and I used a clear eyelash glue and cuticle sticks to apply them. A quick tip for picking up rhinestones is to wet the end of the cuticle stick. The rhinestone will definitely stick to a wet surface. I focus the rhinestones in the outer V of the eye. As you'll notice, the rhinestones will show up a little bit better when you have a darker background, so I put them mainly where the dark blue eyeshadow is. Next, I added a black eyeliner, or in this case, a tail of eyeliner. And underneath the outer wing, I added an underwing of glitter, and I used NYX's Liquid Crystal in Crystal Aqua. Unfortunately for this one, I didn't have any waterproof mascara, so I used what I had on hand. And I kind of wonder, what mascara do mermaids use? Maybe it's Waveline. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I decided that I needed more sparkle, so I applied Azure Glide On Pencil from NYX under my eye. Then I set it with Moki and added the Crystal Aqua Glitter on top. You definitely can't forget the inner eye, so I added a pop of Waves of White to the inner corner. To finish off the eye, I applied Miss Adoro number 47 eyelashes. I have cut these up a bit to fit my eye better. Mer ladies have flawless skin, so I applied my foundation concealer and powder, and I did speed up this step a bit because I do have several tutorials on how to do this already, which I'll just link below. To complement the colors on my eyes, I added Tarte's Blissful Blush, and I apply my blush in the 80s way, kind of where you focus most of the color on the upper cheek and then blend down towards the apple. This works the best for my face shape. Before applying the lip tar, I added a little bit of Sugar's Lip Treatment, and I kind of let this soak into my lips a little bit and dab off the excess. Next, I applied OCC's Grandma Lip Tar. This is such a gorgeous color. It's absolutely one of my favorite lip tars from OCC, and just a perfect coral. Mm -hmm. 
Final step is to add a little bit of a glow, and uh, I use OCC's Loose Color in Luster to give my skin a dewy mermaid glow, fresh from the sea glow. Well that's it for this tutorial guys, hope you had a splash, I mean blast. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy, and let me know in the comments who is your favorite mermaid. Um, mine personally is Daryl Hannah in Splash, as well as Ariel, of course. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, thumbs upping, and joining me on Facebook and Twitter. I love you guys to the sea and back, and take care. Bye. Bye.